I like to go C4. This is our, uh, basically our structure here, so. Happy to go for it. Bishop out. We'll go for a little H3. Maybe B4. Map rail. 20 subs. 20 kick subs. Let me make that clear. Appreciate it, map rail. During our Taimanov series. I'm going to keep gaining the space. You're going to keep offering it to me. E4. Thank you very much. Appreciate the support a lot, map rail. You got us on uh, Twitch, and now you're getting us on Kick. All right. What's the big idea here? Is he going to convince me that that is scary? Is that what's about to happen here? Is that what I'm supposed to start believing? Are you guys scared? Should I be scared? What do we think here? Let's say we're not scared. Let's say we play here. Is he really going to take it? This animal? Oh. He had me going for a sec. I thought we might see some frisky Bishop Takes H3 gameplay. But not today. Not today. I'm liking our position here. You know, it's uh, it's good looking. Bishop d2. I think I want to play a b5 move. Yeah, I don't know if he's intending it, but I'll, I'll definitely go b5 myself. Rook c1. Maybe rook b3, rook b1, and double up. I can only expect that he... Finally develops that queen. Knight h5. Keeps going to the side of the board like this. It's really starting to make me wonder. What's his intention there? Okay. That's a pawn for me. Go back, I guess. It's not possible, but I'm sure he wants it. D5 next. I think uh, Bishop D2. Bishop's not doing that much on E1 anymore. Okay, D5. Got a strong, strong pawn in the middle here. I think this is uh, it's like a rookie two type of position. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Guess what? <laughs> Gotta play that one. Probably take with the queen. I wanna go for g3 and king g2. Can't go rook e8, which is nice. Go for a trade. Most important move we're going to play. G3. Get that bishop out of there. Oh. He really did get out of there. Okay. And this. Maybe getting ready to escort that up the board. King on a light square. Now... I'm threatening to take this, so... I 
think he needed to put the rook there. Oh, we got more than enough time now. King here? That would make my life easier. Let's cut the king off. Cut the king off again. Cut the king off again. Cut the king off again. Now we can leave the rook here. It's all in the checkmate course. How to checkmate with a king. It's in the course, it's all in the course. Gotta get the course. Hashtag ad. There we go. Ask and you shall receive. Here it is. See a d4 guy, not quite. I'm gonna start with a6 on this one. Knight here, I'm thinking a6. Okay. Honestly, this move is really making me think bishop c4. Knight c6 is fine, but I'll tell you, b5, he might be a little upset. He might be a little bothered. He looked like a guy that wanted to play bishop c4. Sorry, my friend. I'll go ahead and take, keep it simple. Queen c7, and notice how we're gonna get right back to the timeout of stuff here. Should be three. Yes. Knight to e5 looks like a pretty nice move. It might get into c4. I don't think taking the bishop is the, the move, right? We don't really want to open the c file. Your timeout of positions will always look nicer with a closed c file. So after this, the move I want is knight c4. Hitting the bishop, hitting the pawn, it has to be taken. There's no discussion. And always take back with the queen for the most part. Pawn takes makes the pieces not look fantastic. Pawn push. Gotta move this knight here. Um, knight d5 is, I would say, the best looking move. Okay, we could take it with either piece. Queen takes, pretty tempting though. It makes a threat. It makes a threat. It's all included in the checkmate course. Hashtag ad. Well, we threatened me and we executed me. There we go. Well, that was nice and easy, wasn't it? Time on all bishop and queen working wonders on that long diagonal. C4, whoa. D5. Well, the nice thing is that, you know, when it comes to time on all, we are going to get our position here, right? E3, you know? Oh my goodness. I tell you, people are so thirsty for this bishop f5 move. Like, they can't live without it. It's amazing the lengths people will go to play bishop to f5. f5! Whoa! Holy smokes! This is some crazy moves. f4! I have never seen stuff like this. f5 and f4. That's actually a miraculous idea. f5 and f4. Like, insane! Just trying to think about it and like, yeah, that moves crazy. I've never seen something like this. I'm gonna go bishop here. I mean, we could go ahead and take it, but I'm not giving him the satisfaction. Knight here, I mean, are you really gonna, really gonna twist my arm? He really wants me to take and go here. I can't fall for that. I'm gonna have to keep the bishop on the board here, bud. I just, I can't go into these lines where like, bishop f5 and my queen is hiding on h8 and getting trapped with knight f7. You know, like it just, it can't happen. Takes, bishop here, 
Rook d1, Knight f3. His pieces look weird. <laughs> they look weird. E6. Okay. Here comes the bishop. Here comes the rook. All right. And what's the, you know, where's the thing? Where's the, the cool thing that I do? Bishop takes b7 is available, but is that so special? I don't know that it is. I mean, it's material. I'm going to be a greedy Guillermo. Rook here, bishop back to d5. Stopping him from castling. going on Maddie Jack we're playing uh well we're doing our Sicilian time out of series here I really like um I'm actually I think I'm gonna do it I like that he can't castle so I'm gonna try to maintain that I would have normally gone knight here but I like that he can't castle he's gonna have to play e6 if he wants it bring the bishop back there we've got our we've got our time on all pieces yeah e6 i i think you almost have to do it of course we want a castle as well h3 would be it's a relatively useful move. Let's go ahead and do that. Useful in general, but especially here, I would say. d4. Knight c5 looks good. Opening up this bishop. Okay, bishop b5. I think rook e1 is probably worth the, uh, the time investment here. Just to safe rather than sorry but it's possible we didn't need it maybe could continue just knight c5 or something okay i'm gonna move this guy let's attack here okay we can take this um i think the nastier move here is actually to take this because if i get that bishop oh it's all coming down Pawn takes here i'm actually gonna go back to a1 to keep the long range pieces Hitting the tenders. Tenders. Ooh. Ooh. This could get really painful here. These diagonals, baby. Oh no. That is pretty much impossible to recover from. Bishops are doing work on those diagonals. Ouch. Brutal. There's e4. All right, let's get this Sicilian going. e6. d4 we take. Immediately, knight c6. Queen c7 to follow. And then a6. So this is our first couple moves. And queen here. We don't see this move too, too much. But hey, the idea of, uh, of castling is... Absolutely one of the main ones. So in this particular situation, I'm going to go with knight f6. That's what I usually do in these um, castling variations. All right, let's have a think here. Okay, bishop here, just because it makes a threat. Why not? And I'm actually thinking of... A5 here. I think we may still be in some kind of theory. May still be. Knight C4 is my idea. 
Bishop takes c3. Also, don't mind doing. But he should probably do something to attack my pieces because knight c4 is. And the only reason I'm playing knight here is because knight e5 is not an option. That move, I have to say, feels a little bit wrong. So let's go ahead and jump our knight in. And I'm just making sure knight e4 is a little bit tempting, but um, I think we just want to take it. Knight e4, double check. Okay, queen d3. Now, to be quite honest with you, it's not one that I really want to take. So, giving it some extra thought here. Don't really want to take it. I am looking at d5. Which I like a little more than b5. Although they're similar. Yeah, ah, man, we could, we could go back with the queen. It's a tough decision. I think I'm going to play d5. Tough decision, truly. Um, this guy's hanging, so I think he's got to do that. Okay, well, this will be... Uh, an interesting position, just because it's opposite bishops, so naturally there's not a ton of winning chances here. F5, I feel like is a good sign for me. E5 and F6, E5 could be a nice one here. Knight G3, I think I do have some options, in fact. Knight G3, this might get into a... A funny looking position. Knight g3, and it's like. <laughs> I need my bishop on e6 to just plug everything together. Like, bishop e6 is really gonna hold the fort for me. I'm actually gonna do this because if f6, I don't have this magical bishop move. So, bishop here, give one pawn. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought he was gonna take the one pawn. I'm gonna say, give one pawn back and then. Kind of hide my king. Yeah, even though it's opposite bishops, I do have a bunch of uh, a bunch of pawns here, so I think we should be good. All right, let's start to put some pawns on dark squares. We haven't done that too much. There we go. Peace trades as well would be nice for me. Pretty much any of them. Like rookie five, happy to see it. Stop the rook invading. Oh, can't be doing that. E4, I'm going to get a queen here. Can't stop me. GG. Can't stop me, buddy. Once that B pawn starts rolling. Hashtag ad, it's all in the course. He just needed to hold four more seconds. Yeah, if only I had thought four more seconds earlier in the game, this would have been simple. <laughs> this is one thing that I will highlight in the timeout of. The opening might have been a blur, but this f4 move, uh, to me, really invites the move bishop b4. You can still play like this, but you have to be a little more mindful of e5 because you don't have knight there and you don't have knight there. And that's my 
Those are my rules for E5. You have to be, be really careful. So that's why I go here. And knight A5 for knight C4 is a nice idea. He goes H3. Now knight C4 becomes like really, really nice, actually. Um, we go here, he takes, takes, he goes queen D3. Just because uh, I happen to have the engine in front of me. And this is a great line. So black's doing really well here. I would say slightly better for black, not more than that. Um, but because I have the engine in front of me, I, even myself, I'm going to learn a thing or two. Um, knight e4. What a move, right? Knight e4, bishop takes, of course, right? Knight here. And then you're thinking, wait a minute, like the queen moves somewhere. And if you take here, there's nothing. But you're taking here. Take here. That looks pretty nice. Bishop takes, and then the knight can return to c4. So, damn. I'll even take a few notes myself there. Nice idea. 94. But yeah, I think the theory goes like this, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is, uh, this is the stuff. Close to equal. A little bit better for white, but black has some light square control and white has worse bond structure. This is, uh, this is what I was going to go for if he knew the line. That's right, sky money. Queen c1, knight takes, absolutely. And it's probably even worse for white in that situation. All right, e4. I'm going to bring out the Sicilian once again. And it looks like with this, it's going to be more of a closed Sicilian. That's unless he plays d4. Okay, well, I think we just saw this, right, guys? We just saw something so, so similar to this. Bishop there, I can go knight here, but I'm actually wondering about bishop to um, bishop to c5 here. Maybe going for a little more early pressure. Knight c6, totally fine, but I'm actually going to venture out with the bishop first. Yeah, so what I was thinking was... But now I could go like knight, knight c6. Uh, uh, uh. That's a check. That's a check. Can't do that. That's why I put the bishop there. Go ahead and take with the queen. Queen takes pawn is the, uh, the intention here. Bishop d4, e5. Could be a little bit weird. I, I think there's nothing wrong with just g6. Yeah, it's just g6, I think. Don't need to be a hero here. Five. So actually, neither one of those moves really scares me. Should we go here? It's time to develop a piece. Right here, queen there. Don't really love that. Being honest. Especially queen there. Eh, I think that's okay. Yeah, knight here. Queen here, bishop here, queen here, the same move. Bishop on d4, it's kind of nice. It watches my knight, hits his knight. I think it's kind of nice. There's time to take. I think at this point we've got to take here. Rook there. Oh no. Can't be doing this. Is this how many times have people been blundering these trackmates? It's every single game, it feels like. It's every single game. That battery is so strong, and that's why I love the timeout off. Queen c7, 
Take back the knight with your queen. So important. End up on that long diagonal with the queen. You'll get some nice checkmates like that. Ooh. Queen a5. A3. B4, knight takes. Uh, make that mistake. In here. Everybody developing. It's like a Scandinavian, I guess. Against our Taimanov setup. Here, bishop there. We have d3. We're comfortable with that. Oh. Okay, a high energy move. But now I can go here because your queen's not there. We don't need to. Like, I'm not going to castle, right? That's one thing. We're definitely not just going to be castling kingside. Then he really will take it. That's a scary, scary thing to endure. Maybe four. Okay, rook c1 looks pretty nice. It's our typical move. And of course, d3 as well. In here, we have moves like knight h4. Always helps us out. Plus, g4 after queen there. I mean, look, he's going back. What are you doing, bud? You think I'm going to take that? You think I'm going to fall for that? Not happening. Question is how we want to continue. I actually think, insanely, Rook G1 is not a bad move. <laughs> because I want this to happen. I'm going to do it. God damn it. I'm going to do it. Rook G1. Yeah. You think you're such a bad boy with that bishop on G4? Well, then let's see it. Queen there. 94 angle. Knight takes and c6 falls. I'm hitting a couple things here. Check. 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 Actually, probably did have to do that move, by the way. We're up a full piece. That should be more than enough. Rook c5, queen c5. Don't be doing that. Queen here. I just want to treat queens. Queen c7 is a threat, but I, I'm, a, I'm a queen c5 kind of guy. There we go. That, that won't be too hard. Next. c4. Oh, it looks like we might get a reverse time on off here. Hey, here we go. Perfect. So hopefully this is very familiar, right? And bishop c5, it's like he really should be hanging a piece here, but he's not. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous, if you ask me. Knight takes, mean takes. Taimanov is just too good. You can play it from either side. You can play it from either side. 1800. That was a good session. We got some uh, pretty nice KOs in there.
We're gonna be continuing this series. I'll probably leave it there for now, but this time out of series, it's been working really well. This last 100 points, I think we were pretty efficient, pretty clinical. This was good. This was good. GG's.